Well, it is the first week of May, and in case you didn't know, this week is recognized as Hurricane Preparedness Week. So a city that knows this subject all too well is Lake Charles, an area often struck by severe weather, but in the meantime, still recovering from Hurricanes Laura and even Delta nearly two years later. Taylor Toole speaking with Mayor Nick Hunter of Lake Charles. She's joining us live in studio now with more. Taylor, what the mayor have to say about uh, where they are now? Yes, good morning. Mayor Hunter tells me they are consistently working to recover from hurricane damage, even more so as we approach the new hurricane season. And while he says many residents have hurricane PTSD, there is hope for the future. Most recently in March, Hunter says the city got word of hurricane relief funding from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, a package to the tune of $1.3 billion, with an expected $450 million designated specifically for Hurricane Laura long-term recovery efforts. A hurricane, he says, left upwards of $15 billion in damage. But Hunter tells me the city is working to complement programs established by the state to maximize the spread and impact of these dollars. Large apartment complexes uh, and large buildings have had to upgrade to modern uh, building codes. And that's from a mechanical, uh, electrical, and, and plumbing uh, level. So as we're building back as a community, every time a building is rebuilt or newly constructed, we are building back to be more resilient and to be better prepared for future storms. Now, Mayor Hunter wants to remind everyone that while Lake Charles has been hit hard with hurricanes and other storms in the past, being prepared shouldn't just be a South Louisiana concern, but something for the Gulf and East Coast to think about as a whole. I'll have more of these hurricane prep tips later in the show, but for now, live in studio, Taylor Toole, KTC TV3.